Hi everyone, KNWA and Fox 24 Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott from the Weather Center. I want to give you an update on this storm system that's moving in. So far, the rain has been limited in northwest Arkansas, but it has been raining steadily in the river valley. So let me get you caught up with the video forecast. Not much change from our thinking yesterday. We are going to see a rain to snow changeover, but very limited, if any, accumulation in most of northwest Arkansas. So our temperatures and the radar showing the precipitation moving in. Now you can see that precipitation precipitation a lot heavier in the river valley and these temperatures are way above freezing and we are going to be above freezing throughout the entire duration of this event however temperatures aloft will be cooling enough as some uh, dynamic forcing comes in that's going to allow that rain to change over to snow now our live Doppler radar shows the trends a little bit more when we just put on the Fort Smith radar you'll notice uh, that the precipitation is not making it much m farther north then the river valley as it starts to move in it dries out we have some really dry air that's working in from the northeast and this is evaporating a lot of the precipitation and not completely saturating our atmosphere that will happen later on this afternoon into the evening however you can definitely tell that cutoff of precipitation is having trouble getting north of the I-40 corridor and there it is right there and that's why it's been raining steadily in the river valley and with that dry air moving into northwest Arkansas the rain has been limited as of now our satellite and radar across the region showing not much of a winter weather system in the Texas Panhandle that didn't pan out at all they had winter weather advisories that was a complete bust and honestly I have my doubts about the snow potential in northwest Arkansas as well uh, for even the possibility of a trade but I'm still keeping it in there because of the strength of this system. Now the low is tracking a lot farther south as we talked about yesterday. And what does that mean? Well, just like what you saw with the precipitation not making it as far north as expected. So there's that low as it tracks across northern Louisiana and eventually into western Mississippi as well as Tennessee. Severe weather is a very real threat though in the Gulf Coast states to our southeast along the Mississippi and Alabama coast. And the future track showing this weather system as the cooling begins shortly after about nine o'clock in the evening we'll have that rain changing over to snow however those temperatures will be way above freezing and we're on the very tail edge of that light precipitation so this is going to lead to very limited amounts of snow if any in grassy surfaces you'll see those temperatures right around the upper 30s that will limit if uh, any accumulation on the roadways and by Wednesday afternoon the sunshine will come out and temperatures warm pretty nicely so our expected totals by early Wednesday morning I honestly was even questioning the dusting in northwest Arkansas but I still think there could be a few areas that pick up a minor burst of snow and on grassy surfaces getting a dusting a little over an inch in higher elevations of the Ozarks as well as the Washita's but that is about it not a whole lot of snow with this forecast as expected from what we talked about from the very beginning of this system uh, Saturday and into Sunday as that kind of kept you updated over the weekend and I talked about yesterday. So keep it here with your weather authority for the latest weather information.